I got, I also, um, I got their bundle for 2025. So I just got the planner. So this is my 2025 planner, but because I pre-ordered it and I got the bundle, I, the bundle comes with, um, access to a digital planner. So that'll get emailed to me so I can migrate it in with my Google calendar, which I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to use a digital calendar, but everyone that I've used so far is like, you have to download a whole nother app. And like, it, it just, it takes so much work just to use that entity, but I want it to be part of my regular calendar. And so when I saw that this one could be downloaded into Google Calendar, chef's kiss. Love it because I live and I stand by my Google Calendar, okay? We love Google products in this house. This is literally being filmed on a Google Pixel. But anyways, back to Magic Vibe. I downloaded, I got their 2025 bundle, so it came with the digital planner download. Uh, and then it included a free journal. Don't mind the bookmark I put in it. Um... And I love it. I, I could be wrong about this, but I think this is recycled paper. The texture of it's really, really nice. The quality is excellent. Okay, so there goes the bookmark. Um, oh wait, that wasn't the bookmark. It was the sticker. It did also. They always come with a sticker. Um, but yeah, so this is literally just like, I haven't written anything in it yet, but it's a notebook. I'm going to use it for my journaling. Um, and actually, I, I think my main intention with this is based on like, the moon phases and the moon transitions and like in here it has what's called a um, daily life guide so based on like the moon and different transits that are going on it'll have different suggestions for like um, what you should avoid for the day or if it's a good day to like start a creative idea or if it's a day that to lean into your sensuality like I'll, I'll talk about it more when I get to the planner but I think I'm gonna use a lot of the daily life guide um, moon transits as journal prompts going into the new year so I'm gonna keep these together in the bag but now dun, 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 for the big reveal I'm so so happy I pre-ordered it I got the midnight blue it's velvet it's so gorgeous like literally look at that detail look at the details oh my god I love this thing I'm so excited the last time I had one was 2020 2023 I didn't buy one last year because we were moving towards the end of the year and it was just a pain in the butt we were packing everything up we didn't really have that much money so I didn't buy one for 2024 or going into 20 or yeah going into 2024 so I think the last one I had was 2022 going into 2023 um and I I have been waiting to buy one and I'm so glad I did but yeah this stunning stunning um blue velvet journal it came with a little quick card with all the moon transitions on it. So this is what I really, I'm going to keep this with the journal and use the new moons and the full moons as my big journal prompts. I'm not a very good journaler at the moment, like as is. So I don't plan on being a daily journaler, but I think this would help. Um, at least if I do like a, a once or twice a month journal, it, it'll give me something a little bit more um, routine. Maybe help me get into daily journaling or even weekly journaling. So this is how I'm going to start small. So I'm going to keep that with that. But look how... I literally... I have never owned a more beautiful planner. And if you're a planner girly like me. And you're a witchy woo woo zodiac girly like me. I so wish I had a discount code with Ma Magic of Eye. If you do affiliates or ambassadors. Can we talk? Because I literally recommend this planner to every single person I know, especially my girlies who are out there listen to the, want to live by the moon and plan their life around what their zodiac's doing and what the transits are like in the sky and how that shifts your energy. My So my goal going into 2024 was to be more intentional. Uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. I definitely was more intentional the last year, but I want to level up it again. So my, my intention for 2025 you guys know i don't do new year's resolutions or if you didn't know that now you do i don't believe in resolutions i believe in intentions um a couple years ago my intention was gratitude and being more vocal about my gratitude and it completely changed my life this last year being more intentional has definitely brought a lot more to light um in my life so i'm hoping that by living by the moon um as woo woo as that might sound but living by the moon um coordinating my life with what the energy of the universe is doing will help me continue to stay 
intentional with my choices, with my diet, with the people I spend time with, with what I give my energy to, all of the above. So I think this is going to be a, a major component to it. So let me show you a little bit more though. Okay. So literally <laughs> beautiful. It gives instructions on how to use it. Um, it shows you, so this is like the monthly calendar, the weekly calendar. These are just what like samples of what they look like. And I'm just going to show you this instead of flipping all the way through right now, because I think you should buy your own, but for example, um, you can kind of see, yeah, it gives you the example there. And then these are where your little transits are. So all these little like symbols and whatnot are what I'm talking about up on the sides here of different transits and everything. They also have, oh, here it is. The Optimum Times Life Guide. That's what I was thinking of. I haven't put my birth chart or anything in it yet. I'm not very artistic, so I'm going to have to trace one. Um, but yeah, I got to fill all this out still. It doesn't start till 2025, so I got time. Um, it does have how to use the moon signs and its elements that it's connected to. Working with the moon in a monthly sense. Um, utilizing the monthly moons and their themes in this planner, which this is really what I'm going to focus on for my journal prompts. Um... And even this is really cool. So how to use the calendar aspect tarot, which is all the symbols of like the zodiac and where they're in placement or what relationship they have with whatever planet. And even some of this, this includes um, different comets and stuff like that as well. And like the North Node. So it's very, very in-depth and detailed, more so than any I've ever seen before. Um, but so it says the full moon on January 13th, which funny enough is Chris and mine's will be our two-year wedding anniversary the sun is in capricorn which is my sign as well as the um the moon is in cancer cancer is not one of my signs but my my sun and moon sign are both capricorn but cancer represents water Cap capricorn re represents earth and it says that the theme for this full moon is supportive nourishing illuminating and fulfilling the aspects of this moon are um and it lists literally a whole bunch of them here. All the different ones with different planets. And then what the themes related to those are as well. Let's see what else. These are my favorite things ever. These are the optimum times. I'm not going to show you too much of them. Because again, this is something I think you should buy and use it for yourself. But I just absolutely love these. And their little symbols um, are in like your daily and your weekly calendar or not daily excuse me your weekly and monthly calendar so where you can see here like turns to gold home sweet home um positive meaning it's extra potent sometimes they have negative signs um or wait look at power on has two positive so it's extra extra potent the more plus signs the more positively charged that um, optimum lifetime is and sometimes there's negative ones as well and so it can tell you kind of what to avoid during those times like I said, so in depth. I love this. That's why I want to be more intentional and live a little bit more in alignment with the energy of the universe. So, aside from that stuff, it does also give, of course, um, so all the times in this planner are listed in Pacific Standard Time, which is fine. I'm in Pacific Standard Time, but always account for any adjustments. If you're in a different time zone, it has the yearly calendars in here, like a normal planner would astrological reference guide so if you want to learn more about the zodiac about the planets let's see um elements modes it has the eclipses listed in here what void, what void moons are which i never knew what a void never knew what a void moon was until i got this planner the last time um i just think it's a little interesting there's a moon planting guide. So the last one I got, they actually, the theme of it was um, fungus. So everything was like uh, different mushrooms for each month. It was, uh, instead of having like your traditional like Aquarius, Capricorn, like in the different um, beasts or whatever you want to call it that represent them, it linked it to a different type of fungus. So like you would have lion's mane mushroom or reishi mushrooms or shiitake, like different um, classes of fungi. All right, had to slow down and take a breath. But what I was getting at, it has a moon planting guide in here. It tells you different themes and stuff like that. 
um, and not just planting like actual gardening but like planting and how that relates to like your your life so you're getting ready for a big project you're gonna plant the seeds for that project you're gonna water and nurture that project you're gonna harvest it at some point and reap the benefits of it and then you're gonna rest and plan for the next phase so more than one use um it actually has the tarot wheel in here which i'm really excited about because i have been learning a little bit more about tarot um as different planetary days i don't know much about any of this planetary correspondences astrological bodies planetary movements all the moon phases menstrual cycles in the moon um, i'm also looking forward to using this a little bit more um actually this has a lot more than the last time too all the different moons and what signs they're in for the whole year. Oh, are you guys ready? And then astro mythology. It's so beautiful. I literally can't get enough. Um, oh, look, so there's people. Ah. Capricorn. I'm also, a, I'm a Capricorn and Sagittarius cusp, so this is like the page all about me because my my rising's in Sagittarius but I'm also born on the first day of Capricorn I, my mom went into labor while on the last day of Sagittarius so I'm truly a cusp baby um but my sun and my moon are Capricorn and then my rising's in Sagittarius so I relate a lot to both let's see different aspects which that's still something I gotta learn quite a bit about all the retrogrades are on this page yeah you guys just Go buy yourself a Magic Buy Planner. Chris is going to have to edit through all 15 minutes of me rambling about this. So please, go buy yourself a Magic of Eye Planner because I cannot stop talking about how obsessed I am with it. Magic of Eye, if, if you are out there and you do affiliate or ambassadors, please, would love to link up because this is my favorite thing ever. <sighs> but I love it. Intentions for next year? Yeah, I need to shut up now. You guys get it. I love it a lot. I'm going to play the table while I wait for Chris. That's the whole thing. 